Hey everybody, my name is Forbes Riley, and I'm an American actress and a TV host, and I was delighted when I got my copy of Missing, which is Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People based on a real-life relationship. It's just, it's well-written. It's amazing. You know, it talks about a man who has lost his wife and his daughter, and it's very well done. I'm going to highly recommend that you go get your copy of Missing. It is a powerful, exciting read. Mr. Mian Moshe Zia. He is the author of Missing. And I want to give a big shout out and a kiss all the way halfway around the world to my dear friend. Check him out at Mia's website. It's called www.miamotionzea.com. Missing. Available on Amazon. Again, I'm Forbes Riley, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Sonic Web Studios specializes in custom web design, app development, social networking, search engine optimization, domain registration, email marketing, online stores, and more. Since our birth, we have been designing and developing immaculate websites and providing web solutions which are a cut above the rest. As a Leading web designing enterprise, we have a team of extremely talented web designers who are well-focused and have the experience of working on multiple web developing platforms such as PHP, Magento, Custom WordPress, and more. Sonic Web Studios has been helping businesses of all kinds, whether big, small, established, or startup, impress their audiences with exemplary web solutions. We don't just create beautiful and functional websites. We give you a complete online solution with the main goal of enhancing your yearly revenues. We aim to give your business the online exposure and brand acknowledgement that will help you in achieving increased conversions leading to profitable sales. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention the Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Hi, this is Mia Mohsen Zia, also known as Mia No Time for Love. Check out my latest book, Missing, Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People Based Upon a Real Life Relationship, available in print and ebook formats on Amazon. Do read it. I'm sure you'll love it. It's www.miamohsenzia.com and www.amazon.com slash Mia Mohsen Zia. It's now time for the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, YouTube, iTunes, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and themikewagnershow.com. Mike brings you great guests and interesting people from all across the globe. So sit back, relax, and enjoy another great episode of the Mike Wagner Show. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show. Powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable, custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Also, check out the latest novel by well-known award-winning author Mia Motion Zia of No Time for Love called Missing, an extraordinary relationship between two ordinary people based on real-life events that go through four countries, two strangers, and one target where truth is an illusion and the ones you love will be the first to go missing. Check out the book on Amazon and other retailers available on all formats today. Also, The Mike Widener Show can be heard on the themikewidenershow.com and on over 30 podcast platforms including Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Apple, Amazon, Audible, and coming soon to Podbean, Buzzsprout, Pandora, and TuneIn. Also heard worldwide on Geo7, Radio Public, and SoundCloud as well. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel and follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here with a terrific gentleman from Berkeley, California. He was born and raised there and pretty much lived there all his life. He's compared to the next John Mayer. And of course, uh, he has a little bit of a connection and 
a story about it as well. He's got a new album called Never Knew the Night. We'll be playing a couple of his tracks um, during the show, and he's been singing since five, and um, he's been singing for 22 years, and he also um, helped uh, form a group before going solo, and he's also the youngest being endorsed by our company. And live, ladies and gentlemen, from the Plus Studios in beautiful Berkeley, California, ladies and gentlemen, the very, very talented singer, songwriter, and multi-instrumental or multi-performing Simon Lunch. Simon, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for joining us today. Hey, Mike. Thanks so much for having me, man. What an introduction. Thank you. <laughs> well, it's, well, it's great to have you on as well, too, since you're being called the next John Mayer. And uh, you've been singing since five, and you're from the Berkeley, California area, born, raised, and you still live there, which is amazing. You've been doing this for 22 years. You also head up a group called the Blondies, and you're also the youngest endorsed by Gibson Guitars at the age of 13. You also have a new album out called Never Knew the Night, and We'll be playing for you later on, Red Delicious, and also Grace to wrap up the program. It's a pretty highly charted uh, song being played on um, all the major platforms. And before we get into all that, tell us how you first got started, Simon. Oh, well, you know, I first picked up a guitar when I was five years old, like you said, and uh, I was sitting in the car one day on the way home from uh, elementary school, and my parents always used to stop at the farmer's market, and I never wanted to get out, so I would stay in the car and listen to music. And mm -hmm. one of those days, um, they put on Eric Clapton, and it was like a compilation CD, uh, and I heard Eric Clapton play the guitar, and I was like, oh my god, I want to do that. <laughs> and I think literally literally two days later, I had a, I had a guitar, like a cheap guitar, and uh I was I was learning to play, did classical for a while, you know, to get my roots, and then electric guitar was the thing. That was what I wanted, and eventually, I got there, and and I have not stopped since. Wow, that's amazing! I guess they don't call you a slow hand for nothing here, or a second slow hand. So, <laughs> <laughs> and, and, what, and what was that one moment that precisely influenced you into what you're doing? Besides being a car, or what's that one precise moment that says this is what I'm gonna do for the rest of my life? Well, I think as soon as I really picked up the guitar, you know, listening to Clapton really that was the the igniter uh, that ignited the flame. But but really picking it up, and I think from day one it was just a way to express myself. And as soon as I realized that really I could I could just pick it up and try and write and and you know feel this such intense satisfaction from you know letting something come out and uh, really putting something from my mind onto an instrument was that was the moment I was hooked. It's like, it's still to this day, that feeling is, is, is what I live for and such satisfaction of, uh, which is honestly, it's almost indescribable of taking something that's in my head, whether it be a feeling or a thought or whatever, and bringing it out through the guitar and with a voice. It's, it's, truly incomparable to anything else that has to be incomparable and amazing besides eric clapton who are some of your other favorite singers musicians and guitars growing up well i love i i love love the beatles um you know that was a that was a big one for me when i was younger i would just religiously listen to their albums but bob dylan to van morrison and then as i grew you know john mayer uh, really showed me um that i could play you know, through listening to his stuff, that I could play electric guitar in a pop song and have that come through. Um, so that was big. And also Jeff Buckley. I love Buckley um, vocally. He's just he's just amazing, and he's co a completely underrated guitar player. So I like to think I've taken little influences from all these people that I love and sort of put them together into my own thing. Mm -hmm. and, and you're also connected to somewhat John Mayer as well, too, in one of your albums. And uh, tell us more about... Uh, you know, who you're indirectly, um, you know, worked with John Mayer. Well, yeah, my, my most recent record, which, which just came out, like you said, never knew the night. It was, a it was such a growing moment for me because I went from being in a band to, you know, recording basically a big solo project. And the first thing I really needed was, you know, I was thinking who's going to play, uh, bass and drums on this record because truthfully so much of my music is guitar, bass and drums. And, I play guitar, so I needed a bass player and a drum player. And uh, through through really a stroke of you know good connection and luck, I ended up um, meeting Dave Wrightsis, who was really into one of the first demos that I sent him. And he's he's now my mixing engineer. And he 
when it came time to get a bass player and a drummer, he goes, who's your favorite b- bass player? And I told him, Sean Hurley. And I'd heard Sean, you know, with Mayer, with Adina Menzel, um, with a lot of people that I really loved. And I think literally two or three days after we had that conversation, Sean was walking through the doors at Westlake Studios and we were um, making a making a few songs together, which was amazing. And now we're great friends and Sean has brought Aaron Sterling and Tiffany Palmer to to the sessions to do stuff, and they, uh, you know, they both are pretty well known for doing doing stuff with Mayer, and they're just amazing musicians. So, sort of, sort of, kind of just fell into that circle of players, and they're all just so fantastic that um, it's hard, it's hard, it's hard not to want to play with them. <laughs> have you have you actually been approached by John Mayer, um, you know, himself since you working directly with uh, your bass player with John Mayer? Have you been approached by John Mayer? I've I've never met him or spoke to him. Wow. Okay. I think yeah. it, I think it probably should too. But then you also called the next John Mayer. So was it, was it, was it like um, a magazine writer or a newspaper writer or um, by a majority of people or or you know you're being called that? And it's like it has to be amazing. So you know who basically just called you that first of all? You know, honestly, I I couldn't even tell you. You're I mean. You're probably the third or fourth person to say it. I, people people have different takes, and I kind of like just to I like to just let them, uh, you know, think think and feel and compare the way they want to compare. And I sort of don't sort of don't get into it too far because I'm at the end of the day I'm just trying to be myself. But uh, you know, a lot of people have obviously seen me play guitar and and uh, especially live because it's you know there's I don't think there's that many people out there these days that have really been playing electric guitar in a pop context and i think mayor's the the immediate sort of recognizable person who does that so people see me play guitar and 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 they'll make that comparison but uh i think it also it depends on you know what people are listening to what song but like i said i don't i don't it's it's really nice and and i i uh i definitely am grateful and it feels good to to be recognized, but at the same time, I'm just trying to be myself and trying to be Simon and 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 be the best Simon I can be. Mm-hmm. And, and of course, we'll talk about your beginnings as well too. Before you go solo, but first, listen to the Mike Wagner Show at the Mike Wagner Show dot com, powered by Soundweb Studios. Visit online at soundwebstudios dot com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Soundweb Studios is the answer. Soundweb Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today one eight hundred three zero three three nine six zero. That's one eight hundred three zero three three nine six zero. Or email to support at Soundweb Studios. Studios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show, get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, check out the latest novel by well known award winning author Mia Motion Z of No Time for Love Call Missing, an extraordinary relationship between two ordinary people based on real life events that go through four countries, two strangers, and one target, where truth is an illusion and the ones you love will be the first to go missing. Check out the book on Amazon and other retailers available on all formats today. Also, the Mike Wagner Show can be heard on the Mike Wagner Show.com and on over 30 podcast platforms, including Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Apple, Amazon, Audible, and more. Coming soon to Podbean, Buzzsprout, Pandora, and TuneIn. Take the Mike Wagner Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Wagner Show on the YouTube channel and follow the Mike Wagner Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here, singer, songwriter, the multi talented guitarist Simon Lunch here on the Mike Wagner Show from Berkeley, California. And um, you compared to uh, or call the next job mayor but before that you also uh head up a group called the blondies and uh tell us more about that and it's not related to w harry if you guys are wondering <laughs> that's to my yeah, that's, that's to my audience by the way guys so <laughs> <laughs> yeah the, the blondies was a, a band that i was in for honestly probably a majority of my life since i was like 10 years old to 18 and uh it was it was really that group of guys was was the way that I got so many of my songs um, initially out there and the way we recorded them. It was um, I would usually bring a tune to the band and, you know, from there we'd we'd play it in my, you know, in my uh, in my room for hours and hours. And then we ended up, you know, as we got older, starting to record and starting to play shows. And it really grew into a pretty a pretty big thing and a really great start, um, uh, which was amazing. And we ended up touring quite a bit. And we ended up making, I think, four studio albums. Wow! Uh, all of which uh, were produced by me, and you know, I was the lead singer and 
pretty much wrote all the songs too. So honestly, that that's the Blondies was really just where I got my 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 start in everything because I was so young. Learned how to produce, learned how to play, uh, you know, learned how to be part of a group and play with other musicians. It was it was really great. And honestly, the 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 real reason that it ended is because um, when I graduated high school, we all sort of you know i i knew i wasn't gonna gonna go to college i was gonna play music full time i wanted to tour uh, and i was waiting for that moment and a few of the other guys who were older were already in school and when i graduated they uh were taking time off so that we could tour and what ended up happening you know as as does is a few of them really wanted to finish school and um you know a few of us didn't and uh you know especially me really knowing what i wanted out of life just needed the time to play music and to to grow as an artist and to record and tour and all that stuff and you just can't do that if you're in school full time so them going back to school you know i kind of realized all right um it's time to probably uh start start you know thinking of the next songs that i write as simon songs and not blondie songs so mm-hmm. uh, it was it was a pretty seamless transition and i'm still great friends with all those dudes and i still play with them all the time um, <laughs> not in the same context oh that's amazing where can we find uh the blonde where can we find uh the blondies at i mean itunes spotify uh Bandcamp, amazon music everywhere um they're uh it's the those albums still deserve a listen for sure so and of course, yeah, another accolade as well too. You're the youngest endorsed by Gibson Guitars at 13. And uh, tell us more about that. It had to be a nice um, award there. Yeah, that was definitely a really nice recognition, um, and uh, it was it was very very cool um, to be to be that young and to you know be be able to have a bunch of guitars at your disposal and uh, you know have people believe in you. Um, and, and at that time, I was playing a Les Paul in the band literally 24 7 so it was per it was perfect it was perfect and uh, uh yeah and i think as as i grew um and you know becoming becoming a lead guitar player solo uh that fizzled out a bit and i've been you know i've i sort of i sort of graduated into my stratocaster phase and love um but that was that was really great and it was pretty heavily tied to the band so um you know kind, kind of fizzled out with the band Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love the play of the strat right now too. And um, let's talk about your album "Never Knew the Night." You also had uh, previously released uh, "Red Delicious," "Kiss Me," "Learning to Learning to Love," and more. And tell us more about that album and uh, some of the songs. Yeah, I mean, it was the culmination of, I think, a little bit over two years of work, and and not all of it in the studio because the first, like I said, the first many months I was really trying to figure out who am I as a solo artist. Um, who am I as a lead guitar player and who's going to make this album with me? And despite, you know, me being the producer and the songwriter and all that stuff, you know, I needed a great drummer and bass player. So I needed to make those connections. And, uh, it was really a growing experience the whole time. And then once we sort of finally started to make those demos and some songs were demoed multiple times, um, and everything sort of slowly pieced together and I had the right musicians and it all clicked. It was just, um, amazing but it feels um you know honestly like probably one of the uh one of the biggest things i've ever accomplished was finishing that record just because so much went into it both musically and also growing as a person and as an artist and and meeting so many new people it was just it was just such a extraordinary experience and such a long and and difficult one too. Mm-hmm. And we'll also play one of your tracks, uh, Red Delicious, in just one minute. But first, listen to the Mike Wagner Show at the Mike Wagner Show.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look on a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1 800 303 3960. That's 1 800 303 3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show, get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, check out the latest novel by well-known award-winning author Mia Motion Zia of No Time for Love Called Missing, an extraordinary relationship between two ordinary people based on real-life events that go through four countries, two strangers, and one target, where truth is an illusion and the ones you love will be the first to go missing. Check out the book on Amazon and other retailers 
available on all formats today. Also, the Mike Wagner Show can be heard on over 30 podcast platforms, including the MikeWagnerShow.com, including Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Apple, Amazon, Audible, and more. Coming soon to Podbean, Buzzsprout, Pandora, and TuneIn. Take the Mike Wagner Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Wagner Show on the YouTube channel and follow the Mike Wagner Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here as singer, songwriter, and guitarist, multi-talented Simon Lunch here on the Mike Wagner Show right now from Never Knew the Night. Here's Red Delicious from Simon Lunch right here on the Mike Wagner Show. Tonight Love is in the air But I'm not going anywhere I've been stuck in this place since she left me here But tonight I want to find Somebody to call mine If I could sleep I'd only dream Of simple things Like dancing down the street with you, darling Kiss me till it's hard to breathe Delicious from Simon Lunch on the Mike Wagner Show. I'm ready for a Red Delicious. I think Los Apples, great song. It makes me feel like John Mayer. Tell us more about that song. What inspired you to write it? Well, that was on. That was a song that that came together over quite a while, um, and it was really just about honestly a lot of what I was experiencing making this record, which which was a lot of late nights in the studio, a lot of time around no one else but myself a lot of you know kind of this loneliness and and that's really what the verses speak to is is that is that kind of loneliness and then the choruses are sort of a fantasy Mm -hmm. Um, and uh but but without without 
without you know ruining it for the listener and and uh, not letting them come up with their own meaning it's really really was inspired by loneliness making this album for me oh wow uh, okay all right I, I every time i think of a red delicious almost sounds like an apple so yeah it's uh that, I, I i i like the way i put it too it's like you know a john mayer riff it feels like i am listening to john mayer but yes it's like you did such a great job of that song amazing thank you thank you yeah a lot of a lot of time went into it Probably mm-hmm. hundreds of hours. Mm-hmm. And, he, and he also did a really nice follow up too, which is called um, "Grace" as well too. We're going to play it at the end of the show and uh, tell us more about the song "Grace." Grace is, uh, I think, I want to say it was the first song that I had for this album, but it was either the first or second, um, and that was one that I had the pleasure of playing. You know, when I first sort of was exploring who I was as a solo artist, playing it live. Uh, in many different forms, both just with an acoustic guitar and then with a trio and with a whole band and all that time exploring it live, you know, when I finally got into the studio made that song, I think, uh, so much more special because it just had such a, uh, such an identity by that point in time. Mm -hmm. Um, So yeah, that's great. It's pretty guitar heavy. Um, I kind of, I kind of went crazy with the electrics. It really, it really influenced a lot of the way that I played guitar on the rest of the album. Um, Mm-hmm. Uh, definitely, definitely one of my favorites. It, it sounds amazing as well, too. You got a great future ahead, Simon. And where can we find your uh, music at in your album "Never Knew the Night" at? Spotify, iTunes, Amazon. Uh, I think. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, Title, um, Bandcamp, SoundCloud, uh, all the all the good ones. Uh, you can you can find "Never Knew the Night" there. It just came out a few months ago, and. Uh, if you've enjoyed these ones, then you'll definitely enjoy the record. Definitely will, too. We're here with uh, Simon Lunch, singer, songwriter, multi-talented guitarist on the Mike Wagner Show. And before we go here, we'd love to have you back with uh, new material as well. You've been great. And what can we expect from you in 2021 and beyond, Simon? 2021, more music. I've had lots of time to stay in the studio with this, with uh, with COVID going on. I thought this year was going to be uh, about touring and as we all know, uh, that's all been postponed. So uh, the good news is that's given me a lot of time to sit in front of Pro Tools and write more songs. So uh, there are, there's lots of music ahead. Mm. And we're looking forward to it as well, too, Simon. And who do you consider your biggest influence in your career? Oh, man, it's, it's, it's hard to pick one. But I think in some capacity, all those guys that I named, the Beatles, Buckley, uh, Mayer, Van Morrison, Bob Dylan, I would say. Those are those are the guys. Mm-hmm. And what's the best advice you can give to anybody at this point, Simon? Oh, man. Probably for another musician, just be yourself. You know, there's a lot of influences out there, whether it be trying to make money or trying to appeal to a lot of people or all those things. And, you know, I think I've, that I've just found that people won't feel the music unless you do. So you got to stay true to what's in your heart and what's in your head and and roll with that. Mm-hmm. And that's very important as well, too. Once again, singer, songer, multi-talented guitar, Simon Lunch here on the Mike Wagner Show. Simon, a very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely fantastic. Looking forward to him again soon. Do us a favor. Keep us up to date. Love you back on in 2021 and beyond. And lastly, what's your, tell us about your upcoming projects. What's your website? How do people contact you? Where can people purchase or listen to your music? Uh, website, www.simonlunch.com. You can find all my merch there, links to all my music. Again, Spotify, iTunes, those are the big ones that I know everyone uses. Um, everything's all up there just by typing in Simon Lunch. Got lots more stuff on the way. Be sure to join my email list if you want to do that through my website. Um, and you can also find me on Instagram at Simon Lunch. That's lunch with an E and pronounced uh, just like lunchtime. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, and you're making me hungry for lunchtime as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I guess people came up to you and said, let's do lunch. It takes on a different meaning here. So, <laughs> Oh, absolutely. You, you know, it's, what's funny is that uh, you would think a lot more jokes would be made about my name. And, and funny enough, I got through most of grade school and high school without anything. 
you know, people just accepted it, which is funny. <laughs> and, and of course, hit him have with the guitar too, and make him sing for the lunch. So yeah. <laughs> once once again, uh, Simon, a very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely great. Thanks, Looking forward to you soon. Hey, keep us up to date. Love you back on in twenty twenty one and beyond. And don't forget to keep in touch. And let's do lunch. All right. Thanks so much for having me. I'm seeing grace as she's standing there Dancing to my rhymes And melodies from more gentle times Now I fear I'll be alone tonight And I don't want to be alone Cause some nights I don't think Love affair Grace my dear Grace my dear Grace in my dear Oh my dear What do I want From this love affair They call her Grace cause she walks that way But her gentle eyes They look so out of place tonight Kinda like mine Maybe I can be her friend tonight Maybe I can be her friend Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Sonic Web Studios specializes in custom web design, app development, social networking, search engine optimization, domain registration, email marketing, online stores, and more. Since our birth, we have been designing and developing immaculate websites and providing web solutions which are a cut above the rest. As a leader,
leading web designing enterprise, we have a team of extremely talented web designers who are well-focused and have the experience of working on multiple web developing platforms such as PHP, Magento, Custom WordPress, and more. Sonic Web Studios has been helping businesses of all kinds, whether big, small, established, or startup, impress their audiences with exemplary web solutions. We don't just create beautiful and functional websites. We give you a complete online solution with the main goal of enhancing your yearly revenues. We aim to give your business the online exposure and brand acknowledgement that will help you in achieving increased conversions leading to profitable sales. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention the Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Hi, this is Mia Mohsen Zia, also known as Mia No Time for Love. Check out my latest book, Missing, Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People Based Upon Real Life Relationship, available in print and ebook formats on Amazon. Do read it. I'm sure you'll love it. It's www.miamohsenzia.com and www.amazon.com slash Mia Mohsen Zia. Thanks for listening to The Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, iTunes, YouTube, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and themikewagnershow.com. Please support our program with your donations at themikewagnershow.com. Join us again next time for another great episode of The Mike Wagner Show. 